Well, that was a first for me. I've never seen a ball land in the rough and spin back onto the green. Oh, that thing shot out of there, but then, did that spin? Well, that could be a hole in one. What a shot, Ash. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are doing a pretty exciting challenge. I've been wanting to do this for a while and we're out at the par three course. It's supposed to be a little bit of a rainy day, so hopefully we can get nine holes in. But the uh, challenge of the day, we are playing with this. We should call it like the Lil John challenge, a diamond encrusted wedge. We have three of them. If you guys are uh, old school uh, infomercial golf channel people, you will remember these, the pure spin wedge. They were all over the golf channel and uh, they were pretty popular. I don't think anybody used them on tour or anything. They are legal. They've got diamond encrusted faces. They're supposed to last forever and they're supposed to spin the ball like crazy. So par three course should be a good match. Let's get out there and see what we can shoot. God, probably gonna play about nine holes or until it rains, but should be fun either way. Play an alternate shot. Yeah. I'm up first. I think the first hole is about, it's like a hundred yards or something like that. So I'll probably go with the 52 degree approach wedge. The gap wedge is 48 degrees, which is like more like a pitching wedge, but <laughs> Who's keeping track? Let's see if we can put one close on the first hole though. All right, looks like we have a weight on the green. So let's take a closer look at these wedges. The pure spin, here's the gap wedge, 48 degrees. Sand wedge, 56 degrees. And the approach wedge, 52 degrees. And then some of the holes are a little bit longer. I think the longest hole out here is about 140 yards. So we got Ashley's irons just in case. And we are putting with my favorite putter right now, the cylinder putter. No idea, I can't find anything about this online. We picked that up at a flea market for $3. I've been putting lights out with it, but let's see what we can do here. It is exactly 91 yards. All right, based on John's reaction, I think he liked that shot. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I think it spun back like 10 feet. But we should have a look at bird. Well, that's gonna need to go. A little bit slower. Yeah, the dew made it slow down a little bit, but we got a uh, probably about a seven footer for par. Nice putt. <laughs> Meant to leave it closer if I missed. <laughs> All right, we escaped with a par on the first hole. I don't know if we mentioned it. We're playing nine holes, and for every birdie that we make today, we're going to be donating $10 to the Second Harvest Food Bank in Central Florida. Every $10 that they get is 40 meals, so yeah. uh, should be doing some uh, good there. I think next year we're going to probably do every single birdie throughout the whole year. We'll do $10 of a donation, so we're going to be playing a lot of golf. Yep. Hopefully it will add up to some and then we'll like rotate which charity every month. But uh, second hole here I think is like 70 yards. Ashley is up. Let's see if we can't find. It is 64 yards. So cool. I think the same club that I went with last time. Probably should be yeah. different there. We'll show you a closer look here at the wedge face in a second, but we're trying to get out. So we, uh, so we don't hold anybody up. Create a gap. Yes. But uh, ah, I think you're going with the gap wedge. wedge. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, we're flirting with the road over there. Don't go behind that tree. That is going to be uh, a little tricky, but we should be okay. Yep. You will have to forgive our bad zoom, well, my bad zoom on that. We're just getting used to the uh, zoom camera on this well, thing. And I clearly didn't go where I was supposed to. So. Well, it's not that bad. It's pretty close to the road, but this course is super tight for these next like four holes. The road is right along here. Also, I apologize if a uh, raindrop gets on the lens. It tends to happen when it rains, but I think we still have a shot. We didn't go behind the tree. Actually, we got no green to work with whatsoever, but you got this. Yeah, we'll leave it up to the world's greatest putter. If I just put it on the green, we should well, be okay. The pure spin, the diamonds are gonna Yeah, help. maybe I'll just spin it back. There's like a foot of green to work with, so there you go. That's all I need with the diamond face wedge. Oh, it tried. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got there. I tried to stop it as quick as possible. Not even the diamond face wedge can stop it out of the rough. Oh, that was a really good putt. I think you got the uh, speeds down already. Yeah. So that's my tap in. You are teeing off on the next hole again. Well, I think we can get that one up and down. It's not under a tree and we got a lot more green to work with, so it should be good. Well, I've been working on my alignment, but I missed the first one to the left and the second one to the right. So hopefully the next one's somewhere in the middle, but uh, John's up. Hopefully he can get me close, if not in. <laughs> That'll do. That was not what I was trying to do. I would definitely be lying to you if I told you that was where I was trying to land it, but it ended up pretty dang good. So let's see if Ashley 
All right, you snuck it in that almost uh, leaked out to the right. But the next hole is about 50 yards and it's my shot, so I'm going with the sandwich. They do make a lob wedge, but we don't have it. Sandwich is the most lofted one, so that's what we're going with. These things are kind of a gimmick, but they actually work. I might be putting these ones in the bag. Right now I've got the, uh, the Kirkland Signature Wedges that I've been liking a lot, but this is definitely our best chance for the first $10 donation of the day. And uh, oh, we'll take a quick look at the uh, face too. It basically tore off the cover on that. So if you are uh, concerned or you play expensive golf balls, these are not the wedges for you, yeah. but definitely uh, produces some spin. So let's see if Ashley can't knock this one in for birdie and uh, get us one under and more importantly, 10 bucks to the, uh, the food bank. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice, first birdie of the day, one under, yeah. 40 meals going to the uh, food bank there. That's Next. <laughs> yeah, next hole is uh, actually the longest hole we're going to play today. I think it's like 120 yards, so I'll be going. My shot, go with the gap wedge. Nice birdie. All right, here we go. Even more pressure on our next shot. The longest shot of the day. Golfers, be aware. Poor tee shots have caused costly damage to this building. Players are responsible for any errant shots. And that is an errant shot because you got a giant tree in the middle. And uh, the hole is only 120 yards in that building back there. Might look close, but that is about, that's like 250 uh, yards away. Kind of goofy. Yeah. I don't know what uh, damage is being done, but hopefully we don't make any more. Well, that was a first for me. I've never seen a ball land in the rough and spin back onto the green. So I can't produce spin, but maybe these things will be the ticket. If you're looking for spin, definitely check these out. It did not spin quite back onto the green, but that was a tremendous amount of spin. Regardless, it landed like, oh, wait. We got the zoom camera just for this. Nature vlog, look at that. We caught the squirrel in his natural habitat on his perch, grooming himself. All right, let's get back to golf. Almost back to back birdies. You almost missed that ball. I think your putter got caught in your backstroke. You almost missed it off the toe. Yeah, because I was in rough and I didn't account for it. Yeah, this, this thing does not make it through the rough very easily, but uh, that's a tap in for me. So you're uh, up on the next hole. The next hole is about like, I think it's 80 yards and the uh, green is like a uh, miniature golf green. There's everything but the clown's mouth. Oh, that could be a hole in one. What a shot, Ash. I'm still rolling. What a shot. Focus. Oh, you can still see it, but it didn't focus very well. Dang, that was a good shot. <laughs> Those co Cobra amps. Yep. Perfect. Well, that was a pretty good shot, especially for me. We got these clubs about a week and a half ago at a thrift shop and they are the only clubs that John can't hit. So there's no competition. They're 100% mine and I really like them. But hopefully John, he's got a long putt, but he should be good. Well, that was about as straight as a putt as you can get on that hole and I didn't come anywhere close to making it. I was distracted by Ashley's trash talking about how I can't hit these irons, but in all reality, I cannot. We've like hit, you guys have seen us hit like thousands of clubs. Yeah. These ones right here, I cannot hit. They just feel super off in terms of the uh, swing weight, but, but they work for me. Yeah, apparently. Ashley crushes them. These are the best irons that I've ever seen her hit. So this hole is, I think like 70 yards, a super small green. I'm gonna go with the, uh, probably the sandwich, see if we can't put some serious spin on it. These things spin like absolutely yeah. crazy. If you're looking for spin, you don't, you know. Don't like your golf ball? Yeah. <laughs> you got the money for uh, some expensive golf balls to go through, one wedge shot at a time, these are it. First miss green of the day for me. So Ashley gets to try these wedges around the green. We got a pretty terrible lie here. So this could be difficult. Also, we got to do the giveaway for the uh, goofy towel that we uh, got at our last Disney adventure. And hopefully you guys did like that video. I think it's got like 2000 <laughs> likes. So uh, thank you for the support on that. Also, we're getting super close to 45,000 subscribers, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, 45,000 more subscribers than I ever thought we would get. But uh, here's the winner for the uh, goofy towel. We'll pop him up right here, him or her. Yep. Well, I think all you had to do is be a you had to like it, so be a subscriber, and comment your favorite Disney movie. Yeah. And we've got some Disney movies that we need to check out because yeah. there are some that I hadn't seen before, but a lot of people liked them. So that's good. Hopefully this next shot is good. It's going to be, hopefully you don't skull it because there's the road right behind it. No pressure. No pressure. Thinking about it, this is probably an easier shot with the putter. You don't have to really worry about the lie, but this is YouTube. We're doing a wedge thing, so we're going with wedge things. Oh, that thing shot out of there, but then, did that spin? That must have spin to yeah, stop that close. That was, still going. yeah, that was bizarre. All right, let's see if we can't uh, knock that one in for par. Go, go, go. That was mine. 
Mine was in. I hit my head on the <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you are not a bear. These woods are not yours, so please use your own restroom around the corner on Green 9. You like that? Interesting. Interesting for sure. We've got some squirrels. we got some bear warnings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next hole. I think that's my shot. That was Ashley's putt. She would have made it. I missed it from uh, three inches. I like, hit my head on the flag, and I thought somebody was attacking me. But uh, a, bear? <laughs> a bear, yeah. 100, I think it's 114 yards, so this hole might actually be longer than the other one. We're going full spin, full gap wedge shot here. All in. All in. Hopefully we can get the zoom on this one and land it on the back of the green, spin it to the front. I think that one was just over that little hill. That's why I walked off to the side to see it. It landed on the green and then spun back like probably would have spun back like 20 feet but it went off the green so it slowed down a little yeah. bit uh, apologies for the uh i think the camera is having a little bit of trouble with the raindrops it's like not focusing very well when we zoom but uh ashley's got a birdie putt or a birdie chip i should say <laughs> birdie opportunity there is birdies to be made hopefully oh it did stay on the green nice so you do no it's on the fringe we got You'll still be putting Close it, enough. but putting statistics, we can't ruin the uh, world's greatest putters putting <laughs> statistics, so this will not count as a putt. Yep. Too many words. Let's see. <laughs> Let's just see if we can dock it in. Yep. All right, check this out while Ashley is getting lined up there. That is the ball mark, which I will fix here in a second, but that thing spun back at least 15 feet. Got a tricky putt breaking way to the left. Oh, I don't know if it's going to break that far to the left. It would have if we had the right pace, man. That thing broke way more than I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> nice putt. Well, there's definitely some magic still in that cylindrical putter because normally John makes about four rounds before he switches putters or at least thinks about it. And this is round five, I think. So uh, we're off to a good start. But the next hole is about 90 yards. And I think I'm going with my nine iron. All right, hole number nine here. Let's take a quick look at this ball. We've been switching between this one and a TaylorMade and the Kirkland Signature is Not getting good. it is getting messed up this ball is pretty durable especially for the price but look at that it is uh this pure spin wedge has absolutely destroyed it but ashley's going with her nine iron let's see if we can't finish out strong here we might play a couple more holes i thought it was going to rain a lot more so there's uh 13 holes here we played nine we'll keep going you got my ball oh my bad i was like <laughs> what are you staring at buddy <laughs> it's a little thin but that's going to work out really good Get up there. Nice shot. This is easily the best I've ever seen Ashley hit her irons. If you guys have watched the channel, you'll probably agree. Yeah. Usually with your irons, because you had so much neck pain, you're like afraid to hit, uh, like take a divot, because yeah, it which, would like jar you. Ironically, it makes it hurt more, but still it's like afraid to hit the ground. Yeah, thin to win is the way to go. <laughs> we got about, uh, I think it's like 17 feet left. But See you've if... got your cylindrical putter. You're yeah, good. There, there's magic. You can... You've been roasting me so far with the, uh, I can't hit the irons and uh, I switch putters every other round, but Sorry. it is true. <laughs> that wow. Dead that was, that was close. Oh, uh, that was dead center. If I just hit it, Ashley's got the tap in and I'm going on the next hole, which I think is a, uh, a mighty 50 yards. Ooh, snuck it in there. <laughs> Those uh, taffins, you're getting to be like me. It's no guarantee, but next hole is super short, I think, so it should be fun. Yep, this is the hole that I was thinking about. It is like 35 yards. We are going full swing lob yeah. wedge, or sand wedge, flop <laughs> shot. This, this could hopefully spin an absolute ton. I'm excited, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, well that's why you said full swing, and I was like, huh? And then I was like, ah. Yeah, full swing flop <laughs> shot. 36 mighty yards. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was about as anticlimactic as you could possibly get. It didn't even spin back and it barely reached the green, but we didn't miss the green from 31 yards, so I guess there's always that as a positive. But we left Ashley a pretty difficult putt here. It's breaking to the right and then back to the left at the end. I'll fix that ball mark here in a second. Is that aim like left edge? Yeah, it's going to break both ways. Next hole is super pretty, so stay tuned for that. Where's the back? It broke, but did not break back. 
magic. All right, this is gonna be our last hole and the prettiest one in my opinion. You guys will see in just a second, but we're both actually gonna hit shots because I think this one is gonna have some crazy spin and I'm not gonna be able to reach it. So I'm gonna be up with my iron and then John's gonna go in with the diamond face. Thin to win all day. Oh, that just got caught up in the rough. I tried. Yeah, we went with the gap wedge. I said, if you hit it thin, you might reach it. I lied. My bad. All right, John switched angles on us because he's going to try to use the backstop behind the hole to get it to spin. Didn't spin quite as much as I thought, but let's try and make this birdie. Another $10 to the uh, Central Florida Food Bank thing that we're doing. Second harvest gift. Yeah, we'll leave that in the uh, description below along with our store where we also are going to start donating. We did the, the initial launch where everything went to it, and I think we're yes. going to start doing 10% of uh, all of the, the proceeds will be going to a charity every Real month. Kid, so yeah. between the birdies and that, hopefully we can uh, donate some pretty good money here. Yes. And thank you guys for supporting us being a, like, you know, allowing us to do this without you guys. We wouldn't be able to give back. Yeah. So, oh, and I had to pick up my ball. I forgot, I forgot <laughs> that, but we have about, we'll both go for this. Yes. We'll go a scramble. Two chances. Yeah, two yeah. chances at it. Got about 15 feet breaking downhill towards us. Cool. I don't know why I'm not showing the ball, but <laughs> <laughs> towards us. <laughs> Nice. Oh yeah. Proof. All right, let's see if we can't double it up here. Count it as two birdies, world's greatest putter. It is breaking probably two inches to our right. It is downhill, but it's not really that, that much faster, so you can give it a, a good whack. Oh man, that one just snuck out to the right. But uh, that's gonna do it for us. The uh, diamond-faced wedges were definitely some fun if you're looking for something that spins a lot. Yeah, uh, just fun to play with. Yeah, and they go for super cheap on eBay. I'll throw up a comp right here, but I think they go for like like $10 each or something like that. We don't have to pay for shipping, but uh, definitely some fun. So uh, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And see you next time, see you next time guys. Thanks for watching. Thought that one was going in. Oh, we did get one, though. <laughs>